first grade friends, I'm so happy to see you today. Um, today is day six in our packet number two, and we're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, so the title of our poem or story for today is Musical Picnic, and I will read it to you. It says, Lily and Mom had a picnic under a tree. Lily bit into her apple once, then again. Crunch, crunch, I hear the music of your apple, Mom said. Mom bit into her carrot once, then again. Munch, munch, I hear the music of your carrot, Lily said. It sounds like my apple. Birds landed in the tree. Rustle, rustle, rustle. I hear the music of the birds on branches, Mom said. Wind blew the leaves in the tree. Swish, swish, swish. I hear the music of wind on leaves, said Lily. Leaves fell on Lily and Mom. Ha, 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 they laughed. I hear the music of us laughing, Mom said. I hear the music of us laughing too, said Lily. Suddenly, Lily and Mom heard new music. Tweet, 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 sang the birds. Question number one. These are our comprehension questions. So if we don't remember what the answer is, we can go back to the story. It says, what did Mom eat in the story? Okay, so let's look back here. It says, I hear the music of your apple, Mom said. Mom bit into her carrot once. Then again, munch, munch. So what did Mom eat? Mom ate a carrot. Mom ate a carrot. Where does the story take place? Let's read the very first sentence together. It says, Lily and Mom had a picnic under a tree. So where does it take place? A, by the river, B, under a tree, C, in the backyard, or D, at a beach? B, under a tree. What sound did the birds make when they landed in the tree? Um, let's see. Let's go back to our story. It says, I hear the music of your carrot, Lily said. It sounds like my apple. Birds landed in the tree. Rustle, rustle, rustle. So what sound did the birds make when they landed in the tree? They made the sound rustle. Let's write a complete sentences. When the birds landed in the tree, they made the sound rustle. Good. Make sure you have a capital letter and a punctuation at the end. Next one. What kind of music do Lily and Mom hear? Um, what do they hear? A, people playing drums. Did we have drums in our story? Nope. B, people singing songs. Were there people singing in our story? No. C, outdoor sounds. Maybe, right? Or D, songs on the radio. Was there a radio in this story? No, I'm gonna go with outdoor sounds. And last one, if you were outside, what sounds might you hear? So if you were outside right now, what sounds would you hear? I know I would hear the wind blowing and the mail truck just went by. So if I was outside, I would hear the wind blowing and the mail truck driving by. Make sure you have, again, a capital letter and punctuation at the end. Okay, so we're going to go on to our next page. These are our vocabulary words that we're going to do cross um, matching, okay? So the first word is the word picnic. Is that red fruit, sound that birds make, moving air, eating outside, ha ha ha, or orange vegetable. When you have a picnic, you tend to eat outside. Okay, next one, carrot. Is that a red fruit, sound that birds make, moving air, ha ha ha, or an orange vegetable? Well, carrots are orange, so I'm going to say that it's this one, an orange vegetable. Our next one is apple. Is that a red fruit, sound that birds make, moving air, or ha ha ha? Well, apples are red, so I'm gonna pick that one. 
laughing. How does it sound when we laugh? Is that a sound that the birds make? Moving air or ha ha ha? It's going to be ha ha ha. And last two, wind. Is that the sound that the birds make or is that moving air? Right, that's going to be moving air. And lastly, a tweet. That's the sound that a bird makes. And in our writing sample for today, it says go outside and listen to the sounds. Write about the things that you hear. So I want you to pick three things that you hear when you go outside, okay? Um, now, I know that you won't be able to go like to a park or something, but why don't you just open up your front door and see what you hear? So let's start this out. It says, when I went outside, I heard, and then you're going to add three things. That's what, that's what goes in those dots, okay? So it's going to be one, comma, two, comma, remember, because we have to put commas in between things that we list, and three. And then we can put a period at the end. So another way that this can look is that if I wrote it for myself, I would say, when I went outside, I heard the wind blowing, the mail truck driving by, and birds singing. Now this one doesn't need to have a capital letter because it's not its own sentence, right? It's the ending of the sentence. So you're going to start yours off like this. When I went outside, I heard. And then you're going to list three things. You're going to list one, two, three. And they're all going to be separated by commas because it's in a list. And lastly for today, we are doing skip counting, and we're counting by tens. So let's count by tens together really quick. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So what we have to do here is we have to fill in the missing number, and then you can color the picture, because I know it'll be super fun to color the space. So we have 10, 20, and remember the number in the tens place goes up by one. So what comes after two? Three. So this number is going to be 30. And remember, so we're gonna go up 10 more. So instead of counting by ones all the way up to 10, we're gonna just take our ones place, or tens place, excuse me, and move it up by one. So three plus one more would be 40. 50. And then our tens place up by one, so five plus one more is 60, 70. Tens place up by one more, seven plus one is eight. So 80. Okay, tens place up by one, ready? So eight plus one more is 90, that's a silly nine. And then for last one, nine up to one more, nine plus one is 10. So that's gonna be 100. And then I'm gonna put a smiley face in my star. There you go. I hope you enjoyed our video for the today. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I miss you all and I hope to see you soon. Bye.